Singing Alleluia. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing Alleluia. The name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, preparing ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us all to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, restore a lover of innocence. Direct the hearts of your servants toward yourself, that those you have set free from the darkness of unbelief may never stray from the light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some of those who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised, according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate, Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, some of the others should go to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversation and the conversion of the Gentiles, who brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. Some of the party of the Pharisees, who had become believers, stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The gospel, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, we'll go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem is a city built with compact unity, and to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord, according to the decree of the Lord of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Please stand. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine. My father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You're already pruned because of the word I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me uh, will be thrown out like a branch and withered. People will gather them and throw them into a fire. They will be burned. But you remain in me. If you remain in me, my words remain in you. Ask for whatever you want. It will be done for you. This way my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit. You become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, sun's out, and I'm like, okay, ready to go here. Feels like a, a good morning, a good Sunday morning or something. I don't know, but it's Wednesday. <laughs> Okay, we're talking about vine and branches, and hey, things are starting to grow out there. Now, isn't it beautiful to see? Uh, I like the flowering trees, right? Especially, and the little green buds that are coming out uh, when you drive and see the mountains and hills. And we talk about vine and branches then, and uh, we can relate to that right now. Um, with that, very much fruit growing, getting somewhere, and uh, hopefully with this COVID-19, we're getting somewhere, we're getting close. Uh, but right now, we have this whole thing about being pruned, you know, and being separated. If you, and if you, if you have to remain in me, um, we've been working on that, having us with our faith. You know, we, we feel disconnected from the church and uh, you know, want to get back to Mass. And um, so, but, but the, he keeps saying, you know, regardless of that, we got to, again, you got to stick with me, stay with me, remain with me. Um, um, and. Again, we're doing things, some, maybe some of the things are being, we're being pruned and, and cut, but we're getting ready to grow, you know, in, in whatever way God's wanting us to be. And so that's what we have to keep working on. Uh, with regards to pruning, um, a lady called Judy, I don't know, Shuniman, <laughs> I bet you I screwed up her last name, but she's talking about she was on retreat and say they told her just to stay still and watch and pray. And so she was out there and all of a sudden she saw a guy trim, trimming the trees. And so she asked him after she thought about that, then she said, um, watching him, I asked myself, she said, what in me needs pruning? Jealousy, yes, impatience, for sure. Self-righteousness, wow, now there's a big one. How about unforgiveness? Whatever it is, right? In the stillness, we can come to know that we want to be one with God and work on these tendencies. And that's what she did on her retreat. Again, we're going to be slowly but surely getting into things, you know, to feel connected. And we're, got, we're starting again now with the yellow phase. And we've been permitted to have um, adoration of the Blessed Sacrament again and confessions. So those are two good ways to feel connected. Um, so tonight at seven, six o'clock, six o'clock, we'll have adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. We'll with a little bit of scripture and a little bit of time to adore the Lord for an hour, and then benediction around seven o'clock. So please come, um, of course, with social distancing and masks. And then confessions we start for here. We start on Saturday. We start Saturday at two thirty, and uh, again with social distancing and masks. So 
okay, and that's one way to feel connected. How else can you be connected? You know, you, you need to work more on your prayer. We work more on Christian charity. Work more on, you know, whatever it might be. And thank God we have this to connect with our church right now. So let's pray we can keep doing that. To remain in the Lord. If you remain in me, my words remain in you. When I ask whatever you want, it will be done for you. So that you may bear much fruit and become my disciples. Hearing God's word and reflecting on it, we offer our prayers. Our response will be, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Bishop Persico, leaders of the church, that God's guidance be with them, that they shepherd us and lead us and keep us connected, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For our president and all of those making decisions throughout the whole world, for the pandemic and for our whole world situation, guidance, inspiration, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are seeking employment or need help in any way, God, help and protect them, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For people with illness, with the coronavirus and with uh, any illness with God's healing grace, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. That God would help us more and more to connect with him, connect with Jesus and the church and experience his presence and his guidance with us, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. That God would root out in us evil tendencies and sinful tendencies. Make us bear fruit for Jesus and for God, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, those who have died from the pandemic, uh, the virus, those who have died from any other cause, uh, the ones we love so much, the ones we miss so much. We remember today, Celine Singer. May all of them rest in the hands of God and be with him forever in heaven. With the risen Jesus, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer for any intentions you'd like to present at this time. We pray, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. O faithful God, hear and remember all of these prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth. The work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, our creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands that become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, be pleased to offer you with humble, contrite hearts. my sacrifice, yours be acceptable to God and the Almighty Father. Grant 
We pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewed, we are renewed constantly, and you're working within us to change us and purify us, we also will then have unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, at all times to claim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lodge you yet most gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising, the life of all, has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall. They become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you count us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Mercy on us all, we pray, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may be worthy to be co-heirs to eternal life, praised and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
we remain in him and abide on the branches, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give to you. Look not upon our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity. And according to your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with all of you. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, how worthy you should enter under my roof, and only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are with me and most present in this holy sacrament of the Eucharist. I love you above all and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally at this moment, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, you're already here. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. The Lord has risen and shown light upon us, who he has redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers at this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us. May bring your help in this present life. Ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, tonight at 6 o'clock, I'm, I'm going to have Adoration of Blessed Sacrament. Bowing. Let's see. The Lord be with you. God's blessings upon you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Have a good day.